Hey, True Believers, England team here. So this has been brought up again. This is an old article from Huffington Post, the whole thing about body positivity and should superheroes have regular bodies. So, I, okay, yeah, I've done this video. Uh, let's do it again, I guess. Why not? All righty, so basically this is what superheroes would look like with realistic bodies. This is what they're trying to sell us, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, let's dive into this because, frankly, I thought it was ridiculous the first time, and I don't see why it would be any less ridiculous the second time. They go on to say, what's one thing almost every superhero has in common? A perfect body made up of tone muscles and zero fat. They're freaking exercising all the time. So recovery.org, an organization that offers resources for people with mental health and or substance abuses, well, that's not bad, is making those perfect bodies a little more realistic by reverse Photoshopping. Nobody's Photoshopping a comic book picture, gang. It's just drawn that way. It simply means reimagining what superheroes would look like if their bodies matched the body of the average viewer. Well, the average viewer isn't going out and fighting crime, nor are they training like a superhero. Train like a superhero. That's all I'm saying. The project features 10 illustrations of comic book superheroes such as Spider-Man, uh, Superman, Gamora, Black Widow, Aquaman, Black Panther. Each illustration includes a before and after character. The images on the left is what the superhero usually looks like. And then... Uh, on the right is so the superheroes it means six pack abs massive biceps and for women that means an illogically tiny waist perfectly feminine muscles and of course big old boobies the image on the right looks similar to the original character but a little bit more realistic i don't think so so of course they start off with superman and we see he's got a superman dad bod now here's the thing actually i'm gonna back this one up Superman, there's not much on Earth that would give him problems with lifting. So how is he keeping his physique like that? Seriously. I always wondered that about super strong people. Unless, uh, you know, if, uh, if you can lift 100 tons, don't you need a 150 ton weight in order to actually build the muscle? Why aren't they at least very skinny? Not saying they need to be fat because obviously moving around they're burning calories. But why aren't they at least, you know, they, they don't have the muscle tone. So it goes on to say a spokesperson for recovery.org told Huffington Post that the organization focused on superheroes because they are role models for so many young kids. Yes. Uh, let's see what they have to say about it. With new releases every summer, we can see how these films possibly or positively affect their younger audience. But it's hard to have such positive takeaways when the bodies represented on film don't mirror what a typically bottle body looks like this spokesperson told. Okay, except for I, they didn't flub their lines. I did. Here's the thing. Superheroes are what we should aspire to be. And that's one thing that definitely in modern day, definitely these days, I think this is two years ago, but these days, absolutely freaking lutely we should aspire. But no, they are not being written that way. They're being written as, oh, no, it's got to be like you or it doesn't count. They got to look like you. They got to act like you. They got to talk like you or it just doesn't count. They're not affirming you. Oh, my gosh. So anyway, it says we conducted this project to see how our favorite heroes might change if their bodies were a bit more fat. They were fat. They're not more realistic. If they're realistic, their bodies would actually mirror what somebody with that kind of exercise regime would have if people are exercising which actually you don't see too many superheroes exercising a lot they used to show matt murdoch in the gym all the time uh let's see scroll below to see the 10 superheroes who look a little bit more well like people okay so they start off with gamora and she's got a big old pot belly some big old thighs still the big boobies um, yeah, I'm going to go with the one on the left. Gamora is an active warrior. She moves around a lot. You know that she is, in fact, an exerciser. So she would be thin. Now, granted, this whole thing with the muscles and the six-pack, even people who exercise a lot, when they get into superhero shape, they say it's harder to keep up that kind of thing. Like, uh, I know um, when, uh, what's his name, high school musical guy, did the Baywatch movie, he 
said that keeping up that physique was ridiculous and he would never want to do that again. So I get it with the six and eight packs and all that kind of stuff. Um, Aquaman being underwater, swimming all the time, using every muscle. They say swimming is like the best freaking exercise. So why the hell would he not be muscled? Maybe put a little bit more muscle on the thigh, but he wouldn't have a dad bod. Harley Quinn, in order to keep up with Batman to move around, she's acrobatic, absolutely would have the body to the uh, left, not the one on the right. This is not a realistic look of, uh, of Harley Quinn as well. Now, here's something you could say Black Panther. Now, Black Panther, I'm sure, would exercise. Of course, I don't think every rib would be showing. That's kind of silly. But he wouldn't be fat. But his suit does a lot of work. So why would it? It, it might actually, I could see Black Panther. Have you ever seen one of those guys who did have the dad bod, but they still worked out so you could see it in their arms? I could see Black Panther with that kind of body. But you want the panther to be sleek. But I do believe the musculature on uh, on the left is kind of weird as well. Oh, hold on. I should be doing, uh, let's see. I should be doing this, right? There we go. So you can see a little bit better. All righty. Let me get back to sharing this out. Okay. Next up, we have Black Widow. And there's no freaking way because Black Widow was trained to be a spy. Black Widow was trained to be a spy, so absolutely she would be the skinnier. Now, I don't know if that waist would be as small as it is in that cover. That is kind of ridiculous, but that is far more believable than her having a fat bod. That's it. I mean, if you saw the person on the right, you know, you'd be like, okay, yeah, she's still kind of cute. That's fine. That's fine. But she's not secret agent body. I don't buy into it. Yeah, like I said, they're just making them fatter. This isn't different body types. Now, here's the thing. Why wouldn't Wanda Why wouldn't Wanda have a normal body? I'm not saying fat, but why wouldn't Wanda have a normal body? Her powers aren't physical. I mean, they might actually train her up, I guess, so she would have the endurance. But I used to swim all the time and until I let myself go for the last couple of years. But I, I used to swim all the time, even though I was heavy. I had a really good heart, really good lungs. I was able to... Uh, I was able to travel and move a lot without getting tired. Nowadays, I get tired going down the stairs, not up the stairs, but down the stairs. Mar Captain Marvel is kind of in the same vein as Superman. A lot of her powers are either <clears throat> energy-based or she's super strong. So maybe she wouldn't have the muscular physique, but the physique on the right is just a normal thin person. It, it's the exact musculature of a guy her size or a guy his size because holy crap, look at those shoulders. I've made a whole video on the whole Captain Marvel thing. Let's move to, yeah, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> this is just like fat Spider-Man. He would definitely be thin, but the worst of them guys, and they've got, they had to have put him up as a joke. I can't believe they would be serious about uh, Cyborg here. It just doesn't make sense. doesn't make sense. So anyway, yeah, I saw it uh, coming back here, this whole body positivity thing, this whole, oh my gosh, superheroes should have regular sized bodies and all. No, maybe some. I remember having the conversation about Faith because people were going off on her for being a fat superhero. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. She flies. As a matter of fact, in uh, I read Hollywood and Vine. It's actually a pretty good book. She wanted some ice cream, so she flew from her couch to her freezer, opened the freezer, grabbed the ice cream, went to her couch, and never touched the ground. Her power makes it so her body doesn't burn calories unless, of course, using your power would burn calories. I like that idea, that people actually get tired from using their powers. So it is exercise, just pushing yourself to do that because... Let's face it, having powers is not natural to the human body. It would draw some energy, right? So there are some powers I think would loan itself well. Mental powers. Why is a telekinetic super thin and muscular? Why would they be that way? You know, Charles Xavier should have a pot belly. Doesn't uh, doesn't really make sense that he would be jacked, you know? He's or at least the very he should be bell shaped, right? 
I don't know. Anyway, that's just my opinion, man. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below about this uh, whole body positivity towards super thing. That's I didn't even I didn't even know it was popping back up, but I got a message. What do you think about the fact that uh, heroes don't have diverse body types? I don't care. I mean, I always just thought short, tall, you know, whatever your race is, that's all you need. I, I and personally, I think they should always be fit because it makes kids. Maybe it would make some kids aspire to be them, to be like them, to exercise the hell, the hell of a lot more than I did. That's for damn sure. Didn't work with me. That's all I'm saying because I just got a, a inspired to sit down and read more comics. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, just uh, if you don't mind, share sharing apparently has become the new comment and all that kind of stuff. So please share out the video to help the algorithm to uh, help us grow here. And don't forget doing the clicks and likes and all that kind of stuff. And if you don't mind helping out the channel, there's a link to Ko-Fi right down there. And uh, after you're done doing all that, why don't you check out the video popping up over here? You know what? I did a video on Doctor Strange and on the Teen Titans that just hasn't gotten traction. I'm going to put the Teen Titans right here. This is a George Perez story. It's Judas Contract, and you should have read it already. If not, you know, well, even if you have, check out my video on it. I do some comments on it, talk about it. It is a lot of fun. So check it out. There you go. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that. To everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.